Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. I just want to make a quick uh, video. It's a request uh, somebody asked me for that I totally forgot, but I saw the, uh, the comment, and so I just want to make sure that I make this video. And it was about pulling up. Uh, he was asking that how do you know uh, where to pull up when you are backing up, right? And so um, I just want to touch on that. Uh, hopefully I can make this quick. Um, one of the things that I usually advocate for is that I want you guys to understand the concept because every situation is different. You're going to be in places where, you know, like uh, you need to understand the concept and the concept by concept, I mean the relationship between the truck and the trailer that's one of the things that i try to get you to understand and so if you've watched the other videos i've said that knowing how your truck and trailer uh, uh you know like are hooked up and how they respond to each other is important and so when you look um uh, at your truck you'll see that you have the fifth wheel right you have the fifth wheel it has a hole right there and this hole is going to go if you before you hook to it um a, tra a trailer or container if you want, if you're a new uh, driver and you've never seen it, look underneath it and what you're going to see is you're going to see a pin like this, right? Because this is where the fifth wheel is going to hook to. So when, whenever you're backing into a trailer, you come and back, what you're doing is you're causing this fifth wheel to come and lock into this pin underneath your trailer or, or container. And so whenever you are backing up, you are pushing on this fifth wheel. So it depends on where your, your fifth wheel is, where you are pushing, where you are exerting pressure. So if you are pushing right here, you're going to cause this fifth wheel to go like this, and the trailer is going to go that side. If you push right here, you cause this fifth wheel to go like this, and the trailer will come this side, right? If you push right here, in the middle, it's going to go back straight. And so the same thing happens. When you are pulling, if you pull from here, it's going to go straight. If you pull like this, that this side is going to go this side while this side comes this side, right? If you pull this side, this side is going to go like this while that goes that side. So it's the same concept. If you understand that concept, then it will be easy. So again, if our fifth wheel we backed in two and our fifth wheel is like this. If you take your, tra your truck this side, you are pulling this to go that side and as you do that guess what is uh, look at what's happening to the trailer the trailer is going to go this side because the trailer is going to is trying to follow the front this back side of the trailer is trying to follow that side so it's going to go like that as you pull up this side is going to face this side okay when you pull up this side which is okay let, let me say which side is this when you pull up to the left side like this your trailer goes to the right when you pull up straight of course it's gonna go straight but when you pull up or on the left your trailer is gonna go face the other side right it's facing on now it has gone on the right when you pull up on the right your trailer is facing this side so anytime you are backing up let's say if you have a trailer right here right and you were backing up and you realize maybe you're like that now most drivers they realize oh i want my trailer to be in there they make the mistake of getting this or, or, of trying to pull this side to go that side so because they they see the hole is this side most new truck drivers get confused and they want to take the trailer that side they want to pull that side where they want to go thinking that trailer is going to go that side and what happens is the trailer ends up facing where they didn't want it to go take time to think about that it's because as they pull the trailer because when they are here and they realize they missed the hole and they want the trailer to go that side, they make the mistake of pulling on the same side. But what they are doing is they are actually making this, this trailer, this front part that they are pulling to go that side and swing this side in the opposite side. So what you want to do is to always think of where your truck is 
how your truck is situated and uh, and where your trailer is and how you're going to be pulling up. For example, if I was like this, right? And I realized my trailer was, my truck was like this because I was trying to, to back up and I couldn't do it. How am I going to pull? If I try to pull like this in front, look at what's happening. But if I pulled this side like this, look at what's happening. You see how the trailer is going? It's going that side. That means if I pull this side, now I can set it up again nicely. You see what I'm talking about? So anytime you're pulling up, take the time to think of the, this point right here that you are pulling. So if your trailer, let's get rid of this truck for now. So if your trailer is like this, you are backing up and you realize like that, uh, you've missed your point. How do you want to pull up? You want to pull up going this side, open up this space, and then go back like that so that you can go in. So every time, just think about this point. As I'm pulling up, where do I want the back to go? So when you think that you are pulling this side, when you are pulling up, it will help remind you where you want that, uh, where you want the trailer to go, or how you want to pull up. So anytime you are thinking of which side do you want to pull up, think of this side. Think that you are going to pull this side. If you pull it this side, the trailer is going to face the opposite side. If you pull it this side the trailer is going to face the opposite side. So anytime you are pulling up the trailer, it's going to go, the back of the trailer is going to go to the opposite side. So if I'm straight like this, and I pull the trailer on my left, the back is going to go to the right. If I'm like this, and I pull my trailer on the right, the back is going to go to the left. So that's the trick. So depending on the situation, because again, as I said, if you learn the concept, your situation is going to be different at every customer and every day. Things are going to be different. So just learn the concept that as you pull this trailer, depending on where you pull it, the back is going to go to the opposite side. So that if you, if you remember that, it will help you remember how to pull up. Again, it's, called, it's also going to depend on how you are turning your tires. But that is the concept that I want you to remember. And hopefully that helps answer the question of how do you pull up? How do you know where to pull up? It all depends on, uh, on your situation. But just remember to think of this place that you are pulling. And remember that as you pull it, this side is going to go like it's the back of the trailer is going to be it's going to go on the opposite side. So if you pull the trailer, if you pull this trailer to the right, the back is going to go to the left. If you pull this trailer to the left, the back is going to go to the right. So just uh, take your time again, just like backing up. Also, in this case, just make sure that you are not over steering. It just depends on the situation. So hopefully that helps you. Um, if it doesn't help you, just think about it. It should be able, uh, you should be able to get that concept. There is a pivot area here. So depending on how you pull, that's how the behind of the trailer is going to react. All right, friends, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.